Hi everybody, this is Martin Veach from Mining Magazine, Australia Mining Monthly. As part of our Digital Underground series, it's my pleasure to welcome our special guests and sponsor, Orica. Now, Orica is a company in Australia celebrating its 150th birthday, founded all the way back in 1874 in Australia, so uh, we're delighted to have them along with us. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of technologies, Blast IQ and 4D. What do those mean? Well, we're about to find out thanks to our special guest today. Sophie Clayton is a product owner for Orica Digital Solutions, and she's joined by Sam Evans, who is the lead engineer for Underground Technologies at Orica. Guys, welcome very much. Uh, Sophie, maybe you could start off and we'll kick us off here with uh, telling us a little bit about Blast IQ and uh, what that's designed to achieve. Sure. Thanks, Martin. Uh, so Blast IQ Underground is a digital system that helps um, underground operations digitize their drill and blast processes. So typically in an underground operation, a lot of um, the data transfer for drill and blast, all those processes, so drilling, prepping and charging is done via paperwork. What Blast IQ Underground um, enables is basically digitizing that paperwork, digitizing the data capture that goes with it, um, and then integrating it into a cloud-based platform where we can start looking at, um, you know, reporting, uh, streamlining of those processes, um, and making it really easy to transfer and share data between the engineers on the surface and the operators underground. Yeah, tell me about what that does to the value proposition, uh, Sophie. Um, it, it sounds like uh, we're all driving towards digitization, automation, and uh, doing whatever we can to take human hands out of things where they're not necessarily needed. Yeah, um, I like to think about it in two ways, Martin. So how it can benefit the engineer, uh, but then also how it can benefit your operators as well. From an engineer's point of view, um, being able to rapidly transfer or communicate data to operators underground is a pretty big win. Uh, most of the time we're waiting for someone to come collect paperwork or deliver paperwork to a job site. So there's actual travel time that paperwork physically has to be moved from one place to the other. So Blast IQ Underground allows that travel time to be reduced. Once the tablet's underground, it just needs to move to a Wi-Fi location where it can start to transmit and receive data. So if the plan's changing on the fly or an engineer has an update um, to a charge design or to prep plans or something like that, that information can be pushed really quickly and then received by an operator underground. So that's one benefit. Um, one of the other benefits uh, for an engineering team is the ability to um, look at all of that data in one place. Um, as Blast IQ Underground brings in data from third party applications, so stuff like stope shapes, drill designs, um, any CMSs you might have of adjoining stopes, all of that can be brought into the Blast IQ Underground desktop application and viewed in one spot. And then you can do some really quick analytics to see how changes in whole length will affect, um, could potentially affect your blast outcomes. Um, so that's a really powerful tool that can help engineers make decisions rapidly based on data captured in the field. And then the other benefit is now that we're, um, I guess, tracing all of those data points across the, the life cycle of a blast. So from design, drill, prep and charge, all of that data is now accessible from, from one central point. Um, allowing engineers or, um, you know, their supervisors to really start getting into the nitty gritty of tracking KPIs and looking at compliance to plan and figuring out how uh, they can optimise their processes. From an operator's point of view, I think the biggest win is probably not having to wait for an engineer to get a plan signed off anymore. Um, I know in my experience as drill and blast engineer, that was... Uh, probably one of the biggest pain points. Um, so yeah, being able to take a tablet underground and receive that info um, really quickly once the engineers pushed it, just from traveling to a Wi-Fi point, which might be five or 10 minutes away, instead of 45 minutes to an hour away on the surface, really eliminates some of the downtime, which means they can focus on actually doing their job and getting the work done. Um, there's also the ability to store um, 
I guess like digital copies of paperwork on the tablet as well. So now we're reducing the fact that you have to carry bits of paper around everywhere. Um, and then one exciting feature that um, Blast IQ Underground has that paperwork doesn't have is that if there's been a, um, a big change in hole conditions, say the hole length has decreased by five or six meters or you know the hole is wet um, when you were expecting it to be dry, inputting that data into a Blast IQ Underground um, enabled tablet will actually adjust the charge design on the fly, meaning that the charge up operator will understand how those changes in conditions affect what needs to go into the hole. Um, so it takes a lot of guesswork out um, and you know reduces the need for either a shot fire to make a call or a shift boss to make a call. All of that decision making is basically occurring in their hands. Yeah, so I get that. Uh, those advantages of having uh, those real-time insights and even being able to see around the corner a little bit, see into the future. Uh, tell me a little bit, though, about uh, the engineer's response there at the sharp end of all this. Are they positive or do they like, uh, do they dislike having those uh, time-worn processes changed? Um, most of the engineering teams that we've spoken to so far about Blast IQ Underground have been pretty excited by the idea of capturing the data along all different stages of the process. Um, at the moment, that process is really manual and requires either manual data entry or it just doesn't get used in the flow at all. Um, so making that, uh, I guess, capturing that data and keeping it centralized into one system actually makes the data more accessible and means that it's actually used to inform drill, drill and blast designs. So I think the really thing about really exciting thing about Blast IQ Underground is that it's a product that's continually evolving and will continue to evolve as we um, get more customers on board and get feedback from them. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity there to make it a really exciting and useful product. Um, some of the things that um, we've already received in terms of feedback and we're already working on are refinements to the drilling workflow. So the ability to capture infill data such as um, redrills and how that's managed by the system. Um, it's also looking at things like capturing hole comments like at each stage of the, the whole life cycle. So from drill, um, prep and charge and also including design. Um, but then I think the thing that will really excite engineers is that we're looking at building in a lot of advanced um, blast analytics into the desktop application um, as part of the like the design package that it will become, um, which is something that uh, we don't see in underground a lot. So it'll be really exciting to see um, and hear from engineers how valuable they think that that will be. So, sounds really exciting. Thanks for that. So if we're going to switch over now very quickly to uh, Sam Evans. Sam, uh, you're in charge of the, or you're a lead engineer in the, in underground technologies. And uh, tell us a little bit about 4D. Is that complementary to uh, what Sophie's been talking about with Blast IQ Underground too? Thanks, Martin. Yeah. So it, Blast, Blast IQ Underground, I guess, is uh, it really does lead in to talking about 4D underground. So 4D underground is basically a new underground bulk emulsion delivery system, and it's made up of several different elements. Um, and, and that consists basically of a, a new hardware system to deliver the emulsion into a hole, a revised formulation of emulsion to increase our energy range, and a load plus unit, which is basically the control system and, and brains of the operation. And how it ties in with the Blast IQ underground side of things that Sophie's talked to um, so well is that we, we now start to get a really good understanding of what's actually happening in the ground, around the blast, in the rock mass. And previously, we haven't all, always had that many options in terms of what can we do differently with the loading and the blast design um, to actually take advantage of having that knowledge. Uh, with 4D Underground, we're basically able to extend the range of energy we can deliver into a blast hole and deliver it a lot more precisely. So having that information come through at the design phase enables us to really maximize the performance of the blast and design the blast that's going to give us the best outcome. Yeah, it, it sounds really uh, a game changer. Tell me a little bit about the, how does the uh, 4D bulk explosives lead to greater value from the mining point of view? 
So I guess at the end of the day, with all you know, underground blasting or blasting in general, it's it's the use of explosive energy to break rock to a design shape and the ability to place that energy carefully and exactly where we want it um, has always been a challenge. And I think we've, we've made leaps and bounds over the last few years in terms of some of the drilling technologies and some of the digital technologies that, that come along. But we're now taking the step where we've got additional control over our explosives energy delivery as well. And the kind of examples of where that might add some value to an underground mining customer are um, things like trying to use a low energy product to protect a sensitive hanging wall, for example, to reduce dilution, um, or using the inverse, using a higher energy range to access difficult parts of the stoke to mine where we may have previously not had great ore recovery. So trying to drive up our, our ore recovery and reduce our dilution. Um, and I think that that's a, a great example of where differential energy can really make a, a big difference in terms of results. Yeah, you're kind of trying to match the the energy explosiveness required to the the geology and, and the hole in question. I suppose improving the accuracy, automation levels, and as you say, uh, only using the amount of energy that's required in the first place. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And one of the benefits in four D is we're not only able to extend the range of energy available to us both a lot higher and a lot lower than conventional uh, bulk emulsion products. But we're also able to deliver that really consistently. Um, so there's no variation in density within a hole and therefore variation in energy like we get with most standard emulsions. It's a consistent energy where we want it to be. The other benefit we've got with it is the ability to deliver multiple energies within the same hole. So, you know, it, it, we may have an example where we need a high energy charge at a certain point of the hole and then a lower energy for a different part. And using, I guess, the system, we can actually try and optimize that. Um, and ensure we're going to get the best result using some of that information that we're getting fed through into into our systems such as blast iq underground enable us to really build a picture of what energy should go where and then execute it according to plan excellent uh, to wrap up i'd love to ask you about what sort of feedback you're getting and where this thing goes next so we, we've just come off the back of completing a great trial at Dougal river mine in queensland it's the underground zinc mine um operated by MMG, owned and operated by MMG. And we've just uh, basically successfully trialed there, looking at reducing dilution and improving their stoke recovery. So uh, you know, over a period of last you know, quite some time, we've reduced their dilution from a baseline of about 11% down to a, a f about 3.7% using 4D underground. And at the same time, driven up their stoke recoveries from 90 to 93%. Um, and in some cases, consistently got above 95%. So that was great. Uh, first customer worldwide. And we're now in the process of basically rolling this system out in multiple other regions globally. So we have a trial ongoing in North America. We're about to commence a trial in Latin America down in Chile. And we'll have other customers coming online throughout the year, uh, Europe later in the year, and further Australian customers online towards the end of this coming year. So we're looking to really uh, move that out in different regions of the world globally um and try and integrate as best we can with our digital tools so working towards you know uh, an end-to-end -end solution fantastic sophie sam i want to thank you so much uh, pretty amazing how some of these mining infrastructure solutions are, are really changing the the face of how we uh, extract minerals from the world uh it's been really uh, interesting talking to you both from orica and this is martin veach from mining magazine australia mining monthly saying thanks so much and we'll see you again next time Bye bye